Hello, everyone. Happy March. Hope you guys are having a great week, a great beginning of spring, and um, a good Tuesday. So we are in the last week of The Cure. We've uh, been kicking butt, I think, in this series, and you guys have done an incredible job translating it into your rooms. Uh, it's been awesome. Awesome. I've tried to listen more. Sometimes I feel like I get so wrapped up in actually working on Sunday mornings that I'm not getting the full message. And so I've been trying to listen to the message a little bit more, sit and attend when I can. And it's just been an awesome series. So super glad and excited to wrap it up with this, with a really strong weekend and we'll get started on the plan. So Brian is back up this weekend. He is talking about fear and how fear is toxic in our life and what we can do to use Jesus as the cure. So we've got some awesome elements this uh, this weekend. And if you have any questions this week, reach out, let us know. We'd be happy to help you. So countdown loop, same as normal. And then we will be playing at the top of service the cure video explainer video. The Cure Explainer video. It's kind of a tongue twister, the amount of times you put video in there. Um, and that will have a sentence or line shifted to talk about fear. Then either CPs or worship leaders will do a welcome. They will set up the series. And we will be into our worship block. Looks like Oakley is doing Perfect God and No Longer Slaves. Then there's going to be a CP modeling moment about fear. And the call out on this is we don't want CPs to ask people in the audience to recognize a fear of theirs and to think about that. We want it to just be a transparent moment about um, just vulnerably sharing what is a fear that this CP is dealing with and how is it showing up in their life. It doesn't need to be anything tied up with a pretty bow, like I am afraid of this, and because of this, I am now not afraid of it. It doesn't need to have that at all, just more of a vulnerable moment to invite people into that space. I think people will recognize fears of their own, but we're not directly challenging them to think about it in that moment. Um, then we will be into the hard point song for the weekend, which is Stand in Your Love. I know Justin had some communication for worship leaders about that and how that was a shift as far as hard point goes. Um, but that song just hits perfectly. So stand in your love will be next. And then CPs or worship leaders will pray, invite people to acknowledge each other and sit. They will also give a very generic giving setup um, just in that moment as well. Nothing fancy, nothing extended, just how you can give how we run on people's giving. So that is the top of service. Then we will be into the teaching block. We're going to start off by playing a video of Kevin Hart and Jimmy Fallon riding a roller coaster. Really afraid. I've never seen this clip, but also I am younger. So I might just not be well informed of funny movies or clips, but um, it's going to be, Kevin Hart and Jimmy Fallon on a roller coaster, very afraid. Then BT will come out to do his teaching. He has got 35 minutes slated, and it's going to be really awesome. Just talking about, you know, um, I think I think what I heard Paco say is this time in our in our life or this time in history, the world is the most afraid that it's ever been. And it's also the safest it's ever been. So why is that happening? What's the disconnect and what can we do about it? So the, uh, Brian's going to be teaching. During uh, during his teaching, there are going to be lighting changes throughout the message. I know this has been talked about a little bit, but essentially, um, if he's talking about fear, the lighting's kind of going to be red. If he's talking about the Holy Spirit, I think the lighting's going to be sort of blue. And when he's talking about the snake, I think the lighting's going to be kind of green. And Jonathan is going to be sending out some lighting direction for that, as well as like what his plan is. Nothing too crazy. It's more of a subtle wash of, of lights as opposed to like crazy lighting setup situations. But 
that is going to be a creative element throughout Brian's message. Then Brian will lead to worship engagement as, um, why are you afraid to worship? Why, or what's holding you back? What is a fear that you feel when you're in a room and you're worshiping? Then he's going to really encourage people to worship. And then we will do stand in your love as a reprise, hopefully with wonderful engagement after Brian just set that up. And then CPs will be up to dismiss. So that is the plan for this coming weekend, the last weekend of the cure. And it's going to be awesome. So again, let me know all week if you have any questions or however I can help. And I'm going to really quickly go through the brief outline we've got for the following weekend, March 14th. Very um, brief right now. We're still trying to figure some things out. So March 14th is a standalone one-off weekend, and Brian is going to do his message on calling, but it'll be a adapted a bit from the all staff message that we heard because it won't be directed towards ministry exactly because not everybody is in ministry in the audience but that'll be the point of his talk and so we've been trying to figure out some ways to incorporate like what will we do for worship or what are some creative elements so the plan right now is that cps or worship leaders will do a welcome at the top of service we will be into the worship block um some songs right now that are in the plan, Lord, you are good, send me, we praise you, and Christ be magnified, which Justin's feeling really strongly about. So worship leaders, I'm sure he'll talk to you about that one as far as it could be a possible hard point. Then CPs and worship leaders will pray, wave, sit. We do need to talk, we think, during this weekend, student ministry camp signups are happening right now. So just talking about that, what that looks like, dates on that and then some type of giving set up, and then Brian will be up for his teaching, and CPs will dismiss. So we're working right now to figure out some creative elements. What are some videos that we maybe have already that talk about the calling that people feel they have on their life, um, or just any type of element that we can use to have some fun in service. So those are the outlines for the next two weeks. It's going to be awesome. Really looking forward to it. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. We'd be happy to help. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday and a wonderful week. I'll see you.